Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Sophie and I have been up for a long time and one person has not. And we've been baking or making stuff. So and we want to show you guys. Her as soon as she gets up. Yeah, we're like, Gabby, wake up. We want you to try something. How do you like it? It's not that bad. It's good. If Gabby says it's not that bad, that means it's good. All right. I hated it though. Let's, yeah, dad, dad, dad <laughs> hated it. it. Dad doesn't like vegetables and fruit. That's why. Sophie made candied grapes. So it's like got a candy got like a candy coating on top of it Sugar. you're supposed to do it with green grapes but we didn't have them so she did it it's so good and then now try mine I I'm tried a, it. it's disgusting you tried it without me yeah you just walked into the kitchen and started eating my can my apples yeah <laughs> you win Sophie you win mm -hmm. I love those too those are so good but I made apples it's just apples and cinnamon and I baked them in the oven and they are so good I love them love them i put them in the oven went out to do chores came back and they were done comment below what's your favorite treat thing that you've ever made and comment down below what those are called yeah they're called something but they're candied grapes basically and they're so good they're gabby bite one and see what it's what it sounds like bite it I'm chewing. listen to how crunchy it is i won't video your face just pick it up and put it in yeah that's cool so we're moving. No, just joking. <laughs> Looks like we're moving. Um, Sophie and I decided that we're going to change up this room. Gabby was sleeping when we decided it, but I want to put like the grandkids stuff in here. I want to put a TV in here. I want to put a carpet in here. And I want to get a kind of, I want to get a futon in here. Just someplace different that we can go. It's kind of like our office. It's kind of like, I'd like to have a TV in here. I'd like a carpet. I'd like it to be like a rec room, like a room. It's a pretty small room for all to be all of those things. But the girls play VR all the time and Sam and I can't ever watch TV together because they're always in the living room and they're always in like playing VR in front of the TV. So I just want like a separate space. Does that make sense? So we got a little rug. We're gonna move the toys around, fix up the toys a little bit so that our grandkids have like a little area that they can play. I'm super excited about that. The way it's set up now, they grab the toys, bring them into the family room where we all are. But if I have a TV in here and a futon in here that we can all sit on, so I might end up getting rid of this area over here, put the futon, I don't know, but we're gonna see what we can do to make this room a little bit more user-friendly, to make our house a little bit better organized. I have not even hardly brushed my hair today. That's why I look like this. Sometimes you just have to clean with your hair messy. Anyway, it took me almost all day just to clean up this room and get it kind of set up. I'm gonna show you what we did. Um, it's mostly gonna be like an office and a grandkid space and then a space we can use too. So keep that in mind. Isn't it so cute? We got this little rug yesterday and we got a few little toys. Something I didn't tell you guys is that I'm gonna have a new grandbaby in the summer. So uh, that's exciting. So I definitely needed like a designate, designated space. So there's all this. This is my tool kit that I use to take batteries out of toys. I put batteries in all the toys and I sorted through the toys and got rid of like a bunch of stuff that just was so messy. And I have all like Jacob stuff over here, the stuff that he, that Sam bought for him. I've got like some Lego. I've got like this laser game thing. These are all Jacob's stuff that, you know, the little kids shouldn't really get into. And then it's kind of messy over here. <laughs> um, but I have the chickens over here and I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do over here is put a futon. I'm gonna put a little futon here so that the big kids can access this space too. Or so like if I'm editing and the kids wanna come and sit in here and watch TV. If we just need another place on the main grant on the main floor for everybody to be able to like watch tv if they want so i'm gonna get a futon and put it there the chickens are almost ready to go outside uh daisy loves the carpet i've not been buying any carpets for this house yet because i am worried about somebody that needs a bath standing there and i don't think she would pee on a carpet on the carpet but i just our dogs are so super messy i just wanted to make sure that we were gonna be okay with the carpet. This is what happened. And it's kind of small, but anyways, that's it. That's what I did all day, you guys. 
Oh, I also set up over here, I set up this spot. I thought like this could kind of be Brooklyn's area. It's got like a bunch of books that she likes to do when she's here and it's got like all the crafty stuff over here and then all the crafty stuff in here. So I figured, and then her, she still likes to play with dolls sometimes. So I put them up over here. So that's it, the whole room. You do not want to see the rest of the house because it is a terrible. <laughs> I'm gonna clean up all your desk area stuff too. I'm gonna put another cabinet in that corner so Sam can put all his junk in there and close the doors so that nobody sees it. But that's it, I'm so super excited. And Daisy for sure loves the carpet. She just wants to sit on that carpet, her and Ellie. And then over in this corner, <laughs> we have the cat who likes to stalk the chickens. So everybody's having a lazy day today. I didn't brush my hair. So if he's in her pajamas, Gabby's dressed, but just lazing around. What have you guys been doing? What are you up to? All right, let's see. So this Molly, is what the... Come on. Get it. Get it. Oh, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. If it hits the ground, she falls. it. Get it. Wow. Wow. Okay. Get it. Woo. Ellie wait, wants Molly, in. Molly, wait. All right, so uh, Molly is honestly so good at this. We need Becca. to play this with her. Becca. Ellie wants to do it. Let Ellie do it too. Becca. Have you tried Ellie with it? Oh. Ooh. Wait, 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 wait. Get it. Ellie really wants to try. Wait. Look at her. Molly, wait, hey. This is how to keep your border collie entertained when it's soaking wet outside. Get it. Wow. Get it. Ellie wants to try so wait, bad. Wait, 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 no, hey. All right, we're gonna let Ellie have a turn. She's gonna get my balloon. Ellie, come here. Come on, Ellie. Ellie. Ellie, Ellie come, look. Ellie, get the balloon. Here. Ellie. Ellie. Look. She's behind you. <laughs> She's afraid of it. Get it, Ellie. Get it, Ellie. I think. Molly. <laughs> I think Ellie just wants to chase Molly because Hi. Molly's running. I think that's all she wants to do. Get it, Ellie. Get it, Ellie. Get it. Good girl. She's like, no way. Good she did it and I didn't get it get it watch because uh oh uh oh uh oh Yorkies are really good Wait, at just this let her hold come it on her. get it get it Ellie get it get it go get it Ellie come on get it oh almost somebody's good really so and get it Ellie get it oh good girl yeah good girl Ellie. yeah get it Ellie get it Ellie get it yeah Oh, she got it. <laughs> get it. Get it. Get it, Ellie. Oh my gosh, she's gonna be in love with it too. Molly has a hate. Good girl, yeah. Good girl, right, Ellie. yeah. Ellie. Get it, Ellie. Oh, almost. She loves it. I mean, I know Molly loves it, but my Molly loves everything. To yeah. She probably looked in the room and was like, nope. Oh. <laughs> well, Molly saw it from Ellie's time and listening to the Hey, she just ran at it. Ellie jumped up. Look, Ellie, I know. I know. Hey, Obviously, Molly's going to be good at it, but. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> She's like, get away from our owner. Get it, get it, Ellie! Yeah, good girl! See how she comes back to me for reassurance every single time? Good girl, yeah! That's distracting. <laughs> It. Don't pop it. Aww. She brings it to me. Good girl. I'm so excited. Yay. Get it. I've seen Yorkie. Oh, they just played catch. Good girl. Oh my goodness. Ellie. Get it. Wow, that makes me so excited. <laughs> like, I'm gonna kill you. She <laughs> wants to play with Molly, but Molly's not really Throw into up. Ellie. Throw it up. Throw it up and see if she catches it. She likes oh, she did it. Throw it up one more time. Ellie, you ready? Ellie. Wait, let's get her out here. Okay. Ellie. Get it. Yeah. <laughs> you good girl. You're my baby. Get it, Ellie. <laughs> 
save that balloon because oh, yes. I want to practice this with Ellie more because this is something that they can play inside and she is loving this is it. This a birding game for her. Um, but Bye. if you guys think that this cleaning, Bye. rearranging spur is just something that I decided to do in the house today, yeah. you would be wrong. I was out all morning before I started in the house. Wait till you Probably see the barn. Me. I'm not lying. All the snow is disappearing. It's like, like gorgeous out today. Earlier today, the, hor the horses were down in the back field. So you guys know how they have like this field over here and then they can go all around the back of the barn and down in that big field. They were back there. And I told Sam, Sam's like, I don't know why they're back there. They never go back there. I'm like, the snow is getting disappearing and all the old dead grass is underneath the snow. So they're out there trying to eat the grass, I bet. Still lots of snow, but it's soft and disappearing. I pray that we have like two more nice days and then it's gone. Cause it is glorious out here. So slippery though. <laughs> Even the duck in the goose pool is thawing out, starting to thaw out. They pushed their water bucket out. No, I put the water bucket outside. I wanted it because I don't like them swimming inside the barn. Like just doesn't work out for me. And I'm pretty sure that this red water here even though i don't know how it's because we have so much iron in our in our water but i don't know why it's just there i pour the water every, i clean their water buckets every single day and i pour water out twice a day for the ducks and i don't know why just that area oh you know why it's the hay <gasps> that's why there's there's hay underneath there it's the sugar okay get ready get set i'm going to show you guys what i did in the barn today i made it so beautiful all right, well, you can't tell. <laughs> Do you notice how beautiful it is? Okay, so I cleaned this thing. This is where Sam, this is where we, it's like a catch-all. We end up putting all of our stuff there. I didn't have a cloth to wipe it, but I'm gonna get one. And I threw all Sam's tools and stuff in here that he uses in this barn. So this is now Sam's little, actually, this is probably gonna be our milking station. I'm gonna get one of those little three shelf we things on wheels to put all of our milking stuff in because there's a plug right above there and then our those will be on here while we feed them all right get ready it's not over yet i have to throw out the cleaning stuff that i did today but i can't do it until the goats come in because they try and run in if i open the door so dun da, da, da. do you see how different it looks i cleaned everything so what i decided was like when we're, this stall's not ready yet. This week coming up, Sam's gonna get all my straw that I need, but I wanted to have like shavings underneath the straw because they're super absorbent. I like them to be on there for a base. I figure like when the does are, are kidding, this is probably where we're gonna hang out. I have the heater here to keep us warm. If it's nighttime, I have this nice bench. And then I decided to put my kidding kit right here. So I moved everything all over here and easy to reach everything. I don't have to go running to get everything. It'll just all be here in, re in reach. That's what I did, I cleaned it all up. You can't tell, <laughs> but I did. All right guys, you need to go in your stall. Why are you holding the hallway hostage? Beep, beep, I have to come through. They're like, okay, we'll go back. Don't go back. I don't know why she didn't close that. Okay. So then in here, I just swept everything and gave it like a really nice clean. I put everything away, put that hose underneath there. Just cleaned everything up. So you guys remember I said I wanted to move everything down. I can't because it's uneven over here. If I try and move it down right, right here, it's uneven. So that won't work. So it all basically has to stay where it is. Then I try to move this thing and it's screwed to the wall. Come on, Ellie. <laughs> so I was trying to do all the things that I needed to get done today. Like I, I did a lot of work in here. I dumped their water at night so that in the morning I can give them fresh water. I noticed that they're making a, a nest there. Can you guys see it? It's hard to see in the camera, but there's like an indent right there. I thought they're, you did that. No, I didn't do it. He thinks <laughs> when I kiss him, he should bite me back. He thinks it's just what we do. He thinks it's just what we do. He is so fluffy. He's not even as fluffy as Anya. He's not that fat. He has thicker hair, but he, his hair isn't like very long. Yeah, Anya, I gotta show you guys. Her hair used to be really super long. It's she's short. She's almost old. a short-haired cat now. She's a lot like this. Okay, so there's bad news. 
that we need to tell you guys about our goats. Over here, look, we got food. Come on. Come on, let's see if she jumps right up there. What a good girl. See how good she is? Anyways, this is Blossom. She is our 10 month old baby. Oh God. And it's so big now. she's pregnant. It's not what we planned. The other one is not pregnant. We did something good. And not only. It's her udder. Do you want to shave it? Oh, I left the thing. Feel her udder. Look at her teats are so nice. Like she has really good teats. Feel her udder, it's huge. It's not tight though. It's nice and soft like butter still. Well, like it's, it's bigger. Let's feel her ligaments. So what happened was that I can like sometimes feel them really good and then sometimes not. Oh yeah, she's got them. It's like, it feels like a pencil. Like even smaller than a pencil. Like feel a her udder. sucker stick. Like hold her udder in your hand. <laughs> Things you never thought you'd hear somebody no. say. When it happened, we honestly did not know that she was going to get pregnant. Um, our buck kept getting out and getting out, and none of our other girls got pregnant. We saw them right away. Like, we were watching constantly when he was trying to get out when we first brought him here. And we spent a lot of time fixing fences so that he couldn't get out and stuff like that. And then one day, we came down to put them into bed, or we came down for some reason, and she was in his field. And how she did it was, she literally dug a hole underneath the fence. No other goats could fit underneath the fence, but because she was just small enough, she actually got under the fence. And we didn't think that they were bred. There was no like signs that she was bred. We weren't even sure she was in heat. Like it was right at the very beginning of her heat, probably because she wasn't even showing any signs of being heat in heat other than the fact that she jumped she climbed underneath the fence so we didn't think anything of it and then like about two months ago we're like uh, is she pregnant is she not pregnant and anyway so she is definitely pregnant it's happened to others before us so she's not the first doe just under a year to give birth it could have been worse she could have been younger it's terrible though like we hate that she's pregnant but she's probably going to be the first one to give birth and because that's when like after she got out we were like oh my gosh this is ridiculous like i can't even keep them apart so um that's when we decided to breed them on their next heat not the babies but the moms because it, they were just trying so hard to get through to each other it's so big now it's still small though it's steaming though. yeah but she's doing really good just letting me like touch it and stuff we still were supposed to come down and shave her but she's gonna be due in like the next two weeks oh she's so tiny like i know that from her bones here i know her pelvis is good and she's three quarters of the size of her mom and she's she's 51 pounds so she meets all the requirements we just would never have bred her because that's just not the way that we like to do stuff he's like what are you doing with her he said that's my sister the thing i'm the most worried about with her is that she's she's small and she's probably only gonna have one baby. So the fact that she's small and only one baby, all the nutrients are gonna go to the one baby and it's gonna be a big baby. Hopefully it's a girl. Yeah. Because boys tend to be, I mean, can it was be. on the first day of her heat that it should be a girl. Yeah, like, I don't know. I don't, it was only one time that she got out. It was her, not him, not the buck that got out. He's too chubby. He was too chubby to fit under the fence. It was that she was so like, she wasn't very, she wasn't super chubby. And so she just scooched underneath there. And I don't even know how she did it. We fixed it right away. It was underneath the gate. So he's like, you can come out now. She's like, no, I think I'll just stay. <laughs> but anyway, that's the bad news about our goat. It's really sad about our mama goat. She's like, girl, I know there's nothing. Like, it gives me anxiety just because it's not what we wanted. Is it in her best interest? No. Is it... Is it the worst thing that happened that could happen? No, but I mean, it's just not what we wanted to happen. It's not in her best interest, but. Let go, let go, let go. I told her to stay away from those stup that stupid boy and she didn't listen. For sure she's not having two babies though. Like you can tell, she barely looks pregnant. Why don't goats like kisses? Why don't goats like kisses? Look at that waddle. You are so cute. Okay, so before we go up to the house and, and, and have dinner, I just wanted to tell you guys one last thing. I told you the whole journey of separating these ones with the white ones over in that stall over there. A huge difference last night. Last night, these guys were running all around. I was like panicking, thinking that somebody was in labor because they were so restless. They were up and down, they were staring. See, <laughs> she's looking. 
staring through the gates like they just finally realized that the other goats can't get to them and they're starting to really eat the hay now look you can see blossoms utter i know anyway please share some of your stories about something similar happening to you where you didn't want something you didn't plan for something to happen and then it happened and then it turned out okay in the end please don't share any scary stuff because i already know it all trust me i think of it all night long when i'm supposed to be sleeping do i know what i call tilly when she's in trouble what do i know what i call tilly when she's in trouble what do you call tilly when she's in tilly trouble McGuire. tilly mcguire look at her she's so jealous she's such a jealous goat She's such a, well, I guess jealous is the wrong word, but she's so dominant. She's like, why are they over there? Hi, baby. Aww. Mm, she's like, you don't have food. Hi, Rosie. So Rosie is not pregnant yet, but we probably will breed her when she's a little bit closer to one. You guys know that a, do a, a doe is, it's easier for a doe to get pregnant when she's like a year old versus two years old. If you like wait too long, you kind of miss a window. They can still get pregnant, it's just not as easy. All right, let's go. You gotta give the ducks water. The ducks water I already did. Did you give them food? I gave them food and water. I didn't see you. Go check. <laughs> I'm going to. My Lucy can't starve, she needs to- Oh my gosh, she is far from starving. Are you impressed? You are fed. She is said, fresh water and fresh food. Don't you know that you're beautiful?